continuing with the Turkish getup. The first variation is called the lunge style. Now I'm going to show you another variation of the lunge style. The difference is in how you get from the floor to the lunge position. It's just a different way of transferring the weight. So, without the kettlebell, a quick review so you can see the difference. The first variation of the lunge is to form a base, lift your hips, and then bring the front foot back into the lunge. And then from here we step straight up. Now this next variation is you're not going to lift the hips off the ground. Instead, I'm going to switch my feet. So I'm going to bend the extended leg and extend the bent leg, switching. And then I'm going to use my hands, instead of lifting my hips, I'm going to use my hands to rock forward into the lunge. From there, it's the same. So it's really just a slight difference in positioning. Here's how it looks. The setup is the same. Now here's where it's different. When I get to this point, I'm going to bend and extend and then push into the lunge position. From there, I step up, I step back, let myself down. Okay? So again, I can just start, if I'm doing multiple reps, I can keep it in the same position. Switch feet, push your hand into this lunge, step up, step back, find the ground, lower my center to the ground, drop my hips. Okay? Same thing from the other side. Bend. Find the ground with your free hand. Lock out. Bend. Extend. Rock into this lunge position. Drive up. Step back. Keep your eyes on the kettlebell. Lower yourself down and switch. <clears throat> Once again. Switch the feet. Find that stable position. Drive up. And again from the other side. <clears throat> so that's the Turkish get up lunge style or lunge variation, two variations of the lunge.